The Prince of Wales gave Prince Harry and Meghan Markle a substantial sum of money in the months following Megix. Financial decrements have shown. Reports from the Sovereign Grant, which includes details on how Charles spends his annual income from the Duchy of Cornwall, revealed how the royal continued to provide for Harry despite claims to the contrary. The Duke of Sussex told Oprah Winfrey during his bombshell interview that he had been cut off finically by his family on departing the UK. Yet, new published accounts show that he and Meghan were provided for until the summer of 2020. It is one in a number of dramatic events that have marred Charles and Harry's relationship in recent years. Even before Harry's fallout, Charles was often the subject of media and public attention given his future role as king. This was especially true of his love life, and the Queen's concerns about his relationship with Camilla. Shortly after Charles divorced Princess Diana in 1996, he is known to have rekindled a love interest with Camilla, the pair having struck a brief romance in 1970. In July 1997, Charles hosted a birthday party for Camilla, and just over a month later Diana tragically passed away in a car accident in Paris. He put his campaign to introduce the public to his relationship with Camilla on ice. The following year, in 1998, he gradually resumed the process of legitimizing his relationship, confirming a report that Camilla had met William and would meet Harry soon. The Queen disapproved of Charles and Camilla's previously adulterous relationship, which was revealed in Diana's bombshell panorama documentary in 1995. Her doubts would reportedly continue through to their civil ceremony in 2005. Before the service, Andrew Alderson, writing in the Daily Telegraph, suggested that the Queen was fearful that Charles and Camilla's marriage would tarnish the monarchy. He said, The Queen has distanced herself from the wedding of the Prince of Wales to Camilla Parker Bowles because she believes that her son is putting personal gratification before duty, royal courtiers have disclosed. The courtiers also say privately that the Queen is lukewarm about the marriage and is worried that it could tarnish the monarchy. Shortly before the wedding day, one courtier told the publication, the problems of the past week go back many years. The Queen believes that the Prince of Wales has put his own gratification and interests before duty by pursuing his relationship with Camilla, and she can never forgive that. Mr. Alderson continued, the courtiers said yesterday that Prince Charles' private office had been outmaneuvered by Buckingham Palace and that Sir Robin Jean Vrin, the Queen's private secretary, had tried to protect her from becoming involved in a town hall marriage, which demeaned her own status. A separate courtier told the author, Robin is very clever. As soon as he sensed controversy, he did what he always does and wrapped the Queen in cotton wool to make sure that she didnt get damaged by events. The courtier added that Sir Robin's intervention was symptomatic of the Queen's long-standing concern over Charles' relationship with Camilla. Meanwhile, following a speech delivered at Lloyd's of London, Charles managed to get some of the UK's largest insurers to launch a sector-wide task force aimed at tackling the climate crisis. Bruce Carnegie Brown, the chairman of insurance market Lloyd's, which is chairing the task force, said, Climate change is already having an impact. You see this in wildfires in California and you see it in persistent droughts in Australia. So there is now increasing demand by customers for these kinds of protections and we need to respond to them. What the Prince is really doing is helping us convene and galvanize a whole of industry response. Instead of people going off and doing their own thing they're actually bringing some of their intellectual property, and some of their capability reporting on some of their existing findings and research, on what is having the most impact.